Space, an endless abyss, home to infinite planets, infinite stars, and infinite galaxies. It serves as a constant reminder of how small and insignificant humans really are in this ever-expanding universe. We still know so very little about the universe, how many galaxies there are, how many stars and planets, and which ones have extraterrestrial life. All of these are questions that we are still searching for answers to. However, in this video we will be focusing on our own star system called the Solar System. Now this place we do know a good deal about, but there's still plenty about this star system that we call home we have yet to discover. We'll look at the eight planets that make up the solar system and learn some interesting facts about them. Mercury is named after the Roman messenger to the gods. Despite being the closest planet to the sun, it's only the second hottest planet in the solar system. The side facing the sun has a temperature of 427 degrees Celsius. The side not facing the sun has a temperature of minus 173 degrees Celsius. This is because Mercury has no atmosphere to regulate temperature. A day in Mercury lasts 58.6 Earth days, while a year on Mercury lasts around 88 days. Mercury has the most craters of any planet in the solar system. It's also the smallest planet, being just slightly larger than the Earth's moon. <laughs> Did you know that Mercury is one of two planets without a moon? Venus is the second planet in the solar system. It is the hottest planet in the solar system with an average surface temperature of 462 degrees Celsius or 863.6 degrees Fahrenheit. One very interesting thing about Venus is that its day is actually longer than its year. This is because it is extremely slow in rotating on its axis as it takes 243 Earth days to do so while it takes 225 Earth days to circle around the sun. Venus is sometimes called Earth's sister planet due to Venus and Earth's sizes being nearly identical, with a mere, by planetary standards, 638 kilometer difference. Venus is notorious for its crushing atmosphere, 90 times the pressure of Earth. If a person set foot on the surface of the planet, they would be reduced to a bloody pulp, and this is if they somehow survive the temperatures high enough to melt lead. Mmm, tasty human barbecue. Venus is named after the Roman goddess of love and beauty. Ironic, isn't it? Earth is the third planet from the sun. And, while it is highly like there are other advanced civilizations out there somewhere, Earth is the only planet that we know for an absolute fact contains life. Earth's surface is 70% water and 30% land, and it also has a powerful magnetic field, which is caused by its nickel-iron core, combined with its rapid rotation. This magnetic field protects Earth from the effects of solar wind. Few people know this, but Earth's rotation is gradually slowing at approximately 17 milliseconds every 100 years. This has the effect of lengthening our days, and it's estimated that in 140 million years, a day on Earth could last 25 hours. Earth is also the only planet in the solar system to not be named after a Roman god or goddess. Mars is the fourth planet from the sun, and the second smallest planet in the solar system. It is named after the Roman god of war and has a thin atmosphere made up mostly of carbon dioxide. Mars is home to the tallest volcano in the solar system, known only as Olympus Mons, a shield volcano which stands at 21 kilometers, or 68,000 feet, and there is some evidence to believe that it may be still active. In recent years, Mars has been revealed to have liquid water in the form of ice, which could very much help in plants to colonize the planet. 
Mars is also known for having the largest dust storms in the solar system, which can last for months and cover the whole planet. Mars has two moons, Phobos and Imperius, which are speculated to have formed after a large object violently crashed into Mars. Jupiter is the fifth planet from the Sun, and it is the largest planet in the solar system. Jupiter has the fastest rotation of all the planets, and as a result, a day on Jupiter only lasts 9 hours and 56 minutes. Jupiter's most famous feature is its great red spot, which is a storm system located south of the equator. It has raged for 350 years, and it is so big that you can fit three Earths inside it. The planet is made mainly of gas and has no solid surface. So, scientists refer to it as a gas giant. Jupiter has four very small rings made mostly of dust from meteor storms. Its rings are not that impressive to be honest, especially not to compare to Saturn's. Speaking of which, Saturn is the sixth planet from the Sun and is the second largest planet. The big thing Saturn is most famous for is its massive rings. As most people know, Saturn has the most extensive rings of any planet in the solar system, and they are made mostly of ice and dust. But that's not the only thing Saturn is famous for. It also has the most moons of any planet in our solar system, totaling at 82. Saturn is also the flattest planet in the solar system. Its polar diameter is 90% of its equatorial diameter due to its low density and fast rotation. Saturn turns on its axis once every 10 hours, giving the second shortest day behind only Jupiter. Scientists recently discovered that Saturn was actually losing its rings. It's estimated that they will be completely gone in a hundred million years. Uranus is the seventh planet from the sun. I know what you're about to say, but don't. Just don't. It is the first planet to be discovered through a telescope. A year on Uranus lasts 84 Earth years, and a day on Uranus lasts 17 hours and 14 minutes. However, one thing that's unique about Uranus is that it spins backwards on its axis, opposite to the way most of the other planets turn. Speaking of its axis, Uranus's axis is tilted on its side. Uranus has the largest tilt of any planet in the solar system and its poles point towards the sun, which gives the planet very long seasons and its rings are also tilted on their side as well. Despite being closer to the sun than Neptune, Uranus is the coldest planet in the solar system, but the coldest temperatures being negative 371.2 degrees Fahrenheit. Uranus has 27 moons. Neptune is the eighth and final planet from the sun and the last of the gas giants in the solar system. Neptune is the smallest gas giant in the solar system and it has six faint rings. Neptune spins on its axis very rapidly with a 16 hour day. However, it also has the longest year as a year on Neptune lasts 60,182 Earth days or 164 Earth years. Neptune has 14 moons including the icy world Triton. Neptune has a very active climate with violent and intense storms, such as the famous Great Dark Spot, which had winds that were recorded to be 2,100 kilometers per hour, or 1,300 miles per hour, making it the fastest storm ever recorded in the solar system. It was spotted in 1989 and lasted for five years. However, another Great Dark Spot was discovered in the Northern Hemisphere in 2016. Neptune is named after the Roman god of the sea. Pluto, formerly known as the ninth planet from the sun, is now considered the largest known dwarf planet in the solar system. It was discovered in 1930 by the Lowell Observatory. 
Pluto was reclassified from a planet to a dwarf planet in 2006 because the IAU defined the, a planet as a celestial body that orbits the sun, has sufficient mass for its gravity to overcome rigid body forces that assumes a round shape and cleared the neighborhood around its orbit. There was one of those definitions that Pluto did not meet, so it was renamed a dwarf planet. Pluto is named after the Roman god of the underworld. It takes Pluto six days to spin once on its axis. At its warmest, Pluto can reach negative 369 degrees Fahrenheit. At its coldest, around negative 387 degrees Fahrenheit. Pluto was also the only known dwarf planet with an atmosphere, but it is very thin and toxic, consisting of nitrogen, methane, and carbon. However, the planet is so cold that during its orbit, when it is at its farthest from the sun, the atmosphere freezes and falls like snow. The sun is the star that sits at the center of our solar system and it makes up 99.8% of its mass. The sun is what is known as a main sequence star, a sphere composed primarily of the two gases hydrogen and helium. The sun rotates in the opposite direction of Earth, rotating from west to east instead of east to west. Temperatures inside the sun can reach 50 million degrees Celsius, or 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. Basically, the sun is so hot that it makes Venus look like the Arctic Circle. This energy is generated from nuclear fusion in the sun's core, generated by hydrogen converting to helium. The sun is essential to life on Earth as it helps plants grow, which gives animals, including humans, food. Without it, Earth would be a lifeless, icy ball. The moon is Earth's only permanent natural satellite and plays an important role in keeping the tides in check. Funny thing is, for such a peaceful world, it is speculated to have an incredibly violent origin. Billions of years ago, during a time when the Earth was much hotter and more violent than today, it's believed that a Mars-sized planet crashed into the Earth and the debris would eventually morph together and form the moon as we know it today. The moon is actually slowly drifting away from the Earth at a rate of 3.8 centimeters every year. The moon also has earthquakes, just like here on Earth, but they're called moonquakes. Unlike on Earth, where they last only a few minutes, on the moon they typically last about a half an hour, but they are much weaker than the earthquakes back home. In 2018, it was confirmed that there is water on the moon in the form of ice on the North and South Poles. This could prove to be very helpful for space organizations who plan to colonize the moon for permanent human settlement as the frozen liquid could provide drinking water for humans to survive. And there you have it. That's our solar system in a nutshell for you. What's even more astonishing about it is how the solar system is just an extremely tiny part of the universe where the word massive doesn't even begin to describe it. What other worlds are out there? Are there other civilizations? If so, where are they? These are questions I really hope one day we'll finally have the answers to.